Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Bitcoin, take a look at some altcoins, because we are seeing a very big move to the upside. Guys, this market's going to be volatile. You got to be patient. You got to not panic sell, because right now, as we get closer and closer to this Bitcoin halving, and especially before that, the Bitcoin SPY ETF news, which is hypothetically two days away, the exchanges are going to be flushing the longs out, flushing the shorts out, trying to get all that liquidity grabbed. Be careful. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is breaking above $47,000. It is up 6.18% on the day. It's fighting for that $47,000 price target. Bitcoin dominance still increasing with this move. Some altcoins are getting some love right now. Some liquidity is flowing in. I want to take a look at Solana before the end of this video, but we see stacks performing very well, 13% on the day. Solana is up about 6% on the day. But Bitcoin dominance up at 52.97%, basically 55% when you exclude stable coins. It's a big deal, guys. Uh, 60% is kind of my target here. I think that Bitcoin dominance could reach 60% as we get closer to this halving. Uh, we were talking about it for a while back when we were trading around this around this formation between uh, March and about October. Before we had this larger move to the upside, uh, the recent move to the upside from about 26000 to where we're at right now, about 47 k Bitcoin dominance, we were talking about for a while that before we get to the halving, I expect in pre-halving years, Bitcoin dominance absorbs a lot of liquidity. It increases. But uh, this move was so volatile and drastic that, well, we start to trade sideways after it. And liquidity moved into the altcoins. But now it's seeming more and more likely that we're going to have another move here that uh, absorbs more liquidity. And I think that we're going to get another sideways price action and we're getting into more of a cyclical market so you're probably going to see this bitcoin dominance get some rallies to the upside closer to 60 percent and then come down towards 55 percent where we're at about right now maybe even lower uh, as we get a little bit closer to the halving if we're trading sideways but uh, be prepared for some volatility guys uh, the closer we get to this halving the more volatility there will be the closer we get to the anticipation of a big bitcoin bull market the more volatility that will come. But uh, guys, be careful. Two days away from the Bitcoin spot ETF. Will it be approved? Will it be rejected? Will it be postponed? Nobody knows. People will tell you. They'll give you their opinion. But uh, my op personal opinion here is that um, I think that there is a high likelihood chance that it gets postponed. Uh, but uh, the other end of that spectrum is it gets approved. We rally until it's listed. But something that's very interesting, I'll give credit to uh, Eric Crown Crypto, another YouTube channel that I like to watch. Uh, very good with data. And um, looking at previous events, he pointed out that back when, let's take a look at this a little bit a larger term time frame here um, so basically the only other events we really have that are similar to this bitcoin spy etf approval or rejection let's just call it an announcement <laughs> uh where it was back in 2017 around before we had this large rally to the upside was right after the halving in 2016 when cme futures was brought to the table that cme was coming for crypto and it was going to be launched it took somewhere about 80 days before it was launched and in that time of the announcement to the launch i mean there was a bull market there was a there was a large bull market it was, a, it was very it wasn't a sell the news event but when it was listed after it was listed that was somewhat of the top another good place to look at is when coinbase IPO was listed. Coinbase IPO was listed somewhere around the top, uh, around, I believe it was in September. It was one of these peaks. And it was announced and it took about 40 days before it was 
listed. And after it was listed, there was obviously a huge sell-off. I think that marked the top, honestly, of the of the previous cycle. I think it was around November of 21 uh, when we were peaking out around 69,000. And when it was listed, that was the beginning of us coming to the downside. I will say, though, that uh, a Bitcoin spot, spot ETF is much more significant than those two variables, those two situations that we had. But I do think that that is the those are the two events that are most similar to what we're looking at right now. So the question is, do we rally immediately when it's approved and then we dump when it's listed? I think that that's an appropriate thing to look at. But that being said, I think that there's a chance that when this gets approved, it's listed immediately because you have all of these huge institutions that have been prepared for this and been preparing for this, and they already have their tickers, they already have their commercials. I think they're ready to rock, which may be an interesting outcome. Maybe, maybe we get that rally immediately, and maybe it's a local top before the halving. Uh, it's just some interesting data points to look at uh, for where we're at right now and basing it on previous events. And I'll, I'll say again, uh, credit where credit's due, Eric Crown Crypto, uh, he's a very, very has very good data, and he pointed that out. And I thought about that, and it's a very interesting thing to think about. We don't really have many data points that are similar to this, to this Bitcoin spy ETF, but um, just something to think about. But I do want to take a look over at Solana because Solana, over on Twitter, I said you can follow me at Twitter three 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 Black C. I said we got very close to my target, a five dollar Solana. I may be looking to start layering in here. I layered in very minimally. Uh, it was a very swift move to $85, but uh, right now, you know, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Bouncing back up, testing this $100 price level. This is what I'm saying, guys. Like This price action on crypto right now is designed to flush out the leverage. Uh, these massive wicks, and let's look at it like a, a smaller time time. I mean, look at these wicks. It's incredible. Flush out the shorts, or the longs, I should say. Then you come up here, flush out the shorts. It's it's just whiplashy behavior, and um, I expect this to happen until the 10th, which is about two days away. So that's what I've been saying, guys. You, you need to be careful. Uh, don't panic before this halving, or excuse me. I keep saying the halving, but it's the spot ETF. The next thing that we've got to talk about is the halving, because the halving, will it be as much hype as this? Spy ETF, I think there's a good chance that we might get a, a little bit of a, a local top here with this spot ETF, unless it's absolutely monumental and insane amounts of money flow in. But it takes time for that to happen. I don't necessarily think that it's going to immediately get all that cash flow the second it's approved. Maybe it's just from the crypto traders like us that are here right now and people get excited and they say, okay, that's the green light, let's get in. But uh, the retail which is why everyone's so excited about the SPY ETF, it's going to take time for that money to flow in. So I think that people aren't really thinking clearly when they're thinking about this approval. And I really hope it does get approved, but I think do think also that there's a world here where it gets postponed. Just my two cents. But guys, if you like this type of content, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel right now. Please go follow me on Twitter. Very, very active over there. 333Black C. That's my username. And uh, also, please check out some awesome referral links we have down below. We have a $4,100 sign-up bonus to Femex. $8,000 sign-up bonus to BitGet. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.